Hi guys, I'm Tom here from Picot Solutions. I uh, just thought it might be a good idea for us to do an up-to-date video on the new battery mini cleaner. This one has the 8mm shaft, uh, which is a third of an inch. It also has our corrugated, super flexible outer casing, which allows this machine to work on pipe sizes from 32mm, so an inch and a quarter, right up to 3 inch, so 75mm. If you have a toilet which isn't a siphonic toilet, then the machine is so flexible that it actually allows it to pass through the belly of the pan and into the stack pipe behind, so you can actually descale the 4 inch stack through the toilet without having to remove it. This machine is super flexible, as I just mentioned, um, it allows it to travel through multiple 90 degree sharp knuckle bends in 32 millimeters or inch and a quarter. Um, it will easily pass through two inch P-traps. Um, this machine is capable of root removal, blockage removal, so if you have any wet wipes or hair or anything like that, um, tree roots, reinstatements. This machine will pretty much do, do it all up to three inch uh, and four inch if you can pass through the toilet. And so this machine has uh, a working length of 16 meters, so 50 feet. We have the detachable power cord and the detachable foot pedal. We also have now an inbuilt electronic clutch, a safety clutch, whereas the old ones were mechanical. We also have the reel stop as well, which comes in really handy for when it's being transported or, or moved around and laid down. This machine, with it being our battery machine, um, it has an inbuilt three hour working time battery. That's three hours continuous use under continuous load. So hard work for three hours and the battery, the, the battery will, be, will be fine. The battery fully detaches from the machine in, with a, um, a separate charging port. So you don't have to take the dirty machine inside the property to charge the machine. You can just take the battery off as you would with other, other electrical devices, charge the battery and then put it back on once it's fully charged. On the back of this machine, which I'll show you in a second, um, we have removed the Makita buffer, um, which we used to have on the, the powered version, which we still have on the powered version, the, 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 the main powered version. We now have an inbuilt, purpose-designed, brushless DC motor. Um, so on the back, slightly different to the old style machine. So this is the battery pack, and this is the gearbox and the motor, which have all been dedicated, all been specially made for this particular machine. And it can be charged while it's in use, so if, if the power is running low at any point, you do have a battery indicator on the front, you can actually charge the machine while it's in use. Obviously we have the extendable handle for us taller guys. Um, personally, I, I, I much prefer this battery machine to, to its counterpart, the powered version, mainly because if you're working in schools, high-rise buildings, hospitals, anywhere where there's going to be a public walking past, you don't have to worry about these slips, trips and falls with the cables. Um, no one's going no to trip up over anything. You're not fighting for power, so power outlets everywhere. Um, it literally is just wheel, wheel the machine in, do the job that it's designed to do, and then literally just wheel it onto the next job. Um, it's a perfect machine for plumbers. The price difference between the battery version and the powered, the powered version isn't that vast. Um, so for me, uh, it's, it's, it's a, a far better machine. But what we will do now, we will take you next door um, and show you the machine going through some inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and some two inch pipe work, also some feed traps I think we've got set up as well. Um, yeah, thank you. So we've just come back next door, um, where all the pipe work is set up. So we're just going to demonstrate how flexible uh, the, mini, the mini cleaner and the battery mini cleaner are. We're going to pass it through this two inch uh, cast iron feed trap around two 90 degree knuckle bends, some 45s, another two 90 degree knuckle bends, and then a 45 at the end, um, which should absolutely fly through. So 
So as you can see, no real force needed. Uh, there was no huge effort pushing it through. It kind of just, once, once the machine is spinning, um, you'll find that it, it just wants to go. It, just, it, it, it doesn't take much pushing at all. So that was the two-inch P-trap. We'll pull it back out and we'll go for the inch and a, inch and a half. through the inch and a half and um, we've got three knuckle 90s and quite a lot of 45s and a knuckle 90 at the end. Again this should absolutely fly through this one. There we go, inch and a half, two inch, no, again, no real force needed. Um, it will pass through many more knuckle 90s, many more 45s. Uh, this is just a setup that we have. Um, the machine again goes from inch and a quarter up to three inch, and it's super flexible. It will pass through a non-siphonic toilet, um, straight through the pan, and it will allow you to also descale the four inch cast iron stack behind it. Um, yeah, that's the battery mini cleaner, thank you.